Welcome kids to our Discovery Science Club. We've been looking at how God has planned this world for us with useful ideas. And for our time today, let's think of two examples from the animal world and they're very different. We're thinking of dinosaurs and pet dogs. Aren't dinosaurs interesting? They come in different sizes and shapes. They lived during the creation week and then they died out later. Now, uh, our club does not have any uh, dinosaur uh, fossils, but we have some other interesting things we've been looking at. Uh, uh, Matt, what's the object that you have? Um, I have a woolly mammoth tusk. It's a tusk, yes, uh, uh, fossilized uh, from a, a mammoth. And uh, Noah, you've got another uh, fossil there. What might that be? Well, it's a tooth from a woolly mammoth. Quite a good sized tooth there, yes. Well, dinosaurs are fascinating and we can learn from them. Here's uh, one that has uh, large blades on its back. I'm sure that they helped him for protection and uh, actually also helped him uh, cool his body. Now, some of these dinosaurs got to be as big as a school bus. Uh, anyone know the name of this uh, dinosaur? Yeah, Dylan? I think it's a stegosaurus. A stegosaur, yes. We think that it was a plant eater and uh, something from the past. I see we have a large dinosaur in the back there as well. Uh, Electra, can you tell us what kind of dinosaur that is? Yeah, I wrote it down. Brontosaur. A brontosaur. Good job. You kids know your dinosaurs, don't you? Well, now, thinking about these creatures, they lived long ago. Is there anything to learn from them? Is there any design? I guess there is. We've been studying the fossilized, petrified skin of dinosaurs. And what we find is it's very special material. What they have in their skin are fibers that kind of crisscross each other. If I could just use my fingers, there are fibers going this way, and then fibers going this way, and back the other way, and they're stacked up, and it becomes very strong. Now, we were even working on a model of this. I see uh, Emmeline is kind of working on a model that we had where we have some uh, Play-Doh. She's just putting some more on there. Uh, where you have skin fibers one way and another kind of stacked up for added strength. Good job, Emmeline. Another way to look at this, if you have a piece of wood, now these all have the fibers in one direction and it's stronger that way, but if you take two pieces of wood and go both directions, all of a sudden it becomes much stronger. And that's the way dinosaur skin is, made for strength and protection. Well, we're learning how to build strong structures like this, and one uh, example that we're looking at to learn is the skin from dinosaurs from the past. And we can come up with new products for safety and for usefulness. Logan, I see that you have your uh, bicycle helmet with you. Can I borrow that? Sure. Well, thank you. Now, we wear these for safety when we're out uh, uh, biking. This is very lightweight. It's got plastic over the top, but inside it may well have uh, crisscross fibers. You can call that fiberglass or something similar. And one thing that we're using are dinosaur skin. In other words, they've been designed from the very beginning, and we can uh, learn from them. Dinosaurs, a fascinating part of our Earth. Now, the other uh, animal that we want to think about for a little while is uh, a pet dog. Some of you have dogs as part of your uh, family and they're interesting uh, pets. Uh, Kaylee, what's the name of your dog? Liberty. Liberty, a good name for a dog. There's design in dogs. There's things we can learn from them. There's a little story that goes with this. A few years ago, there was a, a person who lived out on the east coast of our country. His name was Paul Speary. And in the summertime, he liked to go sailing. He had a small sailboat. Some of you have been on a sailboat. But there was one problem. When the deck of the boat would get wet, it would get slippery and a person could fall down and hurt themselves. They weren't sure what to do about that because there's water on a sailboat. Well, one winter day, Paul Speary was out walking his dog on an icy sidewalk. And even though Paul was kind of slipping, he noticed that the dog could walk right along without tripping or sliding. The dog could walk on the ice. Well, when they got back home, Paul looked at the paw of his dog and saw that it has separate little round pads on it. Some of you have looked at the paw of a dog before. And even some dogs have like a fingerprint, tinier grooves on each of the pad. Well, Paul thought, this is how the dog keeps from slipping with this uh, extra special paw. And so uh, this man took a piece of uh, rubber fabric and he cut some grooves in it with a knife and he fastened it to the bottom of his shoe and he went outside and tried walking on the ice. 
and he didn't fall down. It was very steady. And he came up with this idea to take a shoe and to put tread on it so that it can uh, deform and bend and kind of grip the ice. And also if there's any water, it can kind of scoot through the grooves to get away. And uh, he was a, sort of an inventor. And so he started a shoe company to make these shoes with a tread on the bottom. Now, uh, Noah, can I borrow your shoe for a minute? Just as an example. Yeah. Thank you. Remember what gym shoes are like, that there's zigzag patterns with different types of uh, 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 shapes like this, and that helps you to you know, run around on a gym floor or even on an icy sidewalk and uh, keep from sliding. Well, Paul started his company and he sold his idea to the U.S. Navy, and then they started to build all their shoes like this as well, and today it's everywhere, you know, with gym shoes. And uh, Mr. Speary says that he got this idea by studying the paw of his pet Cocker Spaniel. Ideas from nature. They're all around us, and I think God put them there for us to find and enjoy. Thank you, Noah, for the use of your shoe. <laughs> Interesting ideas from nature. We can learn from dinosaurs, and we can learn from puppy dogs. We have all these designs that God's given us in this world. And of course, God's also given us His Word, the Bible, that we can also learn much from. As we study it, we can learn to be His children and to live for our Creator. That was an exciting lesson on dogs. Scientists have learned so much from them. We've even learned how to design a better shoe to help us keep from falling. I've fallen lots of times, on a wet sidewalk, maybe even on an icy pond, and sometimes I stumble in my walk with the Lord. That usually happens when I want to go my own way. If you follow Jesus, He will keep you from slipping and falling. God has some good news for you. He loves you and designed you to have a personal relationship with Him. But the Bible tells us in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Have you ever done anything bad? Have you ever had any bad thoughts? That is what the Bible calls sin. And even though God loves us, He has to punish those who sin. It says in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's the good news, that God sent His Son Jesus to die on the cross for your sins, for everyone's sins, so that we can have eternal life. In Romans 10.9, it says that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Isn't that the greatest news that you've ever heard? Have you ever trusted in Jesus as your personal Savior? If not, and you'd like to do that now, you can just bow your head and follow me in a short prayer. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I believe you died for my sins and rose again. I trust in you today for eternal life. Thank you for forgiving me. Amen. Did you just pray that prayer and believe in your heart as you prayed? Because if you did, God has saved you and He has forgiven you and you are now a part of the family of God. I will trust that you will learn to grow in your faith as you learn to walk with Jesus. Jesus.